at MOD Lynham. This is going to be a big one. We're celebrating the life of Eddie Kidd. We're going to bring him down here and give him an event of his life. If Eddie hadn't have done what he did in the day, it wouldn't pave the way for entertainers now. Everyone saw him as, as a youngster. He's a big inspiration to me. Motorbikes uh, is my life. He paved the way for people like me to have a career. He was the king of jumps. He pioneered it. So in honour of him, we've got the best in the business. We've got stunt team, stunt crews, we've got FMX team, we've got Terry Grant and his drift cars. For me, it's a great honour to be able to honour Eddie Kidd and be part of this display team. Overwhelmed, really, you know, to have the opportunity to be a part of something as big as this is it's huge for us, you know, such an honour and a privilege. Yeah, big deal is Eddie. A lot to do, a lot to rehearse, a lot to get through. It is tense. This whole thing has been orchestrated by Terry Grant, total legend. Rode with Eddie Kidd back in the day, so for him it's a major deal. This is huge for him. This, for me personally, is a big thank you back for Eddie. The whole background behind this stunt, A, the production team contacted me, which I'm really grateful for. The producer that was on this, and now another producer's come in as well to help him. It's grown. Behind me here, this is the FMX crew. We've got two kickers and two landing ramps. Uh, Dan Whitby is our kind of head honcho. He's running a great team. And currently we're just doing a little test to make sure the ramps are sweet in the damp conditions. There's just so much going on. There's there's the freestyle, there's Lee Bowers on the superbike, you've got the drift guys, this yeah, it's it's just a, a whole kind of shebang of, of excitement. So I am very privileged to be a part of it. It's gonna be absolutely epic this. It's gonna be amazing. And a very fitting tribute as well. I think everyone's gonna absolutely love this episode. I can't wait to see it all going properly. I think we're just about to go for a full dress rehearsal now. We've had to skip this because it's too wet for the minute. Right. Well done, Eddie. Good on you, bro. Thanks for watching, Pat. See you later. Oh, quality stuff, boys. The rain is coming in, which is the worst thing we can do. The FMX guys can't lay on the, the jump. I mean, it's getting, this is getting, like, sketchy. And we've just had a guy bail over there, so we're on the edge a little bit. Right, so we're running a bit over. He's going to be absolutely buzzing tonight. He's Can't gonna wait. be buzzing. Can't so. wait. Oh wow. He's gonna love it, of course he is. Who's not gonna love it? Jumping through a fire hoop. My jump now, I'm like, oh, <laughs> you're about shrinking by the Chatting to him earlier, he seems totally up for it. After the event, I don't think right. yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll just um, say if there is any accidents, scrub that bit about me saying oh, we're fine. <laughs> It was quite amazing that I, I said to my dad, like I was coming up to do bits and pieces and that as a bit of a tribute. And he was like, oh, I laid underneath Eddie Kidd when he jumped at Brown's Hatch. It is going to be emotional, for sure. I know I'll have a tear in my eye. It's an absolute honour to be able to perform for Eddie Kidd. It's going to be super cool to show off to him what we can do and just pay tribute to him. Eddie was one of those people that that said you can do it, and he did it. Been with Eddie other times and had a, a tear in my eye that were really emotional. One that sticks to mind is we were working together where he had his accident, and it was 10 years since he had his accident. Yeah, you know, it puts a lump in your throat, and we're all here for that one reason, and it's to celebrate, you know, Eddie, you know, and, and his achievements. So, yeah, for sure, it's emotional for all of us. And he asked me, 
to take him round in his wheelchair where he landed and crashed. And we stayed there for half an hour. We didn't really talk much. He was emotional for sure. For me, this is unbelievably special. It's like hats off to a great inspiration for me as a kid. You know, I remember him doing all the things, Great Wall of China, all that stuff, the wheelies and everything. And so to have him here on Top Gear and to give him a show like this is an absolute honor, total privilege.